Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome to another lesson from the brothers working in the vineyard. And as best as we can, we will continue to come to you live Thursdays at 1 p.m. via Facebook. And also, all of our teachers and all of our readers will be from the Israel of God, where Brother Henry Bowie is the head pastor. And also, all of our scriptures will come from the King James Version of the Bible. And before we begin each lesson, we will open with prayer. However, today I have two quick announcements, and the first is that this will be the fifth part of a five-part series that the Israel of God is doing. It's titled uh, Black History Told by the Prophets, and the last leg of it will air this uh, sat Saturday live at 12 p.m., and the title of the lesson is called The Adoption. And also the other thing is, uh, in times past, brothers in the vineyard have indicated that we are going to try and bring this word to you uh, through some other social medium, and we have done that. We are now on YouTube. And what yes, we are sir. trying to do is to have uh, the lesson up after Thursday, anytime after Thursday on YouTube, so you can look, take a look at it at your leisure. And uh, also, uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and read our uh, prayer, and our prayer is going to come from the book of Psalms, chapter 89, verses 16 through 18. And it reads... In thy name shall they rejoice all the day, and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor our horn shall be exalted. For the Lord is our defense, and the Holy One of Israel is our King. Yes, Again, our scripture reading came from the book of Psalms, chapter 89, verses 16 through 18. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. So at this time, as your host, I turn it over to the teacher and the reader. Today's teacher is Brother Jeremiah, and today's reader is Brother James. Thank you, Brother Ed, for the introduction. You know, we always deal with the Bible by subject and title because we know one thing. You're not going to sit and we're going to read the whole Bible in one second. So we're going to do this a little bit at a time, guys, okay? So today's title is Love Thy Neighbor as Thyself. Now you may say, well, who is my neighbor? The person right next door to me? Man is your neighbor. Mm -hmm. So you know you're supposed to love your neighbor as yourself. Now if you're supposed to love your neighbor as yourself, what about your enemy? Sometimes we need to just take a peek at things and see how we need to treat our enemy. Let's see what the master say on that subject, how to treat our enemy. We know how you're supposed to love your brother and your sister as yourself, but we don't know how do we supposed to love our enemy. Let's just run through the book and just take a peek at that. Let's go to Luke, the sixth chapter. And let's see, let's see what Jesus had to say about this, how you love your enemy. Luke 6, and we're going to pick it up in verse 26. Luke 6 and verse 26. Yeah, we go to Zoom, man. You know, you know, you're supposed to love your brothers and your sisters as, you, as yourself. But we need to take a peek at how do we supposed to love our enemy, that one that you know don't like you. <laughs> Luke six and twenty six. Go ahead and read. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. For so did their fathers to the false prophet. Go ahead. But I say unto you which hear. Love your enemies. Do good to them which hate you. Wait a minute. He ain't talking to everybody. He say, he say, but I say unto you which hear. Everybody got some ears. <clears throat> Excuse me. Everybody got ears, but everybody don't hear. Oh, we all got a set of ears on his head, but everybody don't hear. He talking to the ones that they hear. Then he say, love your enemies. Do good to them that hate you. Now, we know we love our neighbors as, our, as ourselves, but now I got to love my enemy. I got to do good to that person that hate me. Go ahead and read. Bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you. Now, I got to bless the guy who I know ain't got no, my good will is not in his means. 
But you know, if I got to bless him, and then I got to pray for the brother who's despitefully using me. Boy, that's a big order right here, people. Yes, yes, this is. is how the servants walk. Go ahead and read. And unto him that spited thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. Now, he ain't talking about just walking around with somebody that hits you <laughs> on the cheek now. I ain't going for that, man. <laughs> if I'm preaching the gospel and somebody hit me on the cheek, that's the one I got to take. But I ain't all into that you walking up on me, hitting me on the cheek and all that now. <laughs> that ain't what he's talking about. Verse 29 again. Go ahead. And if to him that smited thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. Go ahead. Give to every man that asketh of thee. This is a big order for the servant. He said, give to every man that asketh of thee. Go ahead. And of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. They ain't going to take away your good. This is the servant. Go ahead. He said, don't ask for it again. Go ahead. And as you would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. Go ahead. For if you love them which love you, what thank have you? Hey, if you just go love the brother who love you, I'm only going to love my brothers and sisters who go here. Hey, he said, what thanks have you? Go ahead and read. For sinners also love those that love them. Even the sinners love the people that love them. <laughs> go ahead and read. Hey, hey you got to be bigger than the sinners. Right. Go ahead and read. And if you do good to them which do good to you, you only go do good to the ones that's going to do good to you. They can pay you back, huh? <laughs> go ahead and read. What they have you, for sinners also do even the same. Uh oh, the sinner do the same thing. Hey, we do good to each other. Go ahead and read. And, and we you... probably all was in that boat <laughs> where we was, wasn't keeping the law, but we did good to our brothers and our sisters that we at, at that time. Go ahead and read. And if he lend to them of whom he hope to receive. I got to lend to the brother who I know can give it back to me, huh? Now, I ain't going to lend to the brother who I know can't give it back. But I'm going to lend to the brother who can give it back to me. Uh-oh, go ahead and read. What thank have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. Oh, they, I believe that the sinners even land. Sometimes they get it back with usury. That's right. You know you had them jobs and you, oh, Joe, he the long man. <laughs> but you got to give him 8% usury, you know. <laughs> Verse 35, go ahead and read. But love ye your enemies. Oh, that's a big order right there. You know he your enemy, but the Lord is telling you, you got to love your enemy. This is the Messiah telling you That's this. That's right, brother. Mm -hmm. Verse 35 again. Go ahead. But love ye your enemies and do good and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great, mm -hmm. and ye shall be the children of the highest. Don't you want to be the child called the children of the highest? Yes, I do, hey, brother. Hey, here go your rope to climb on. That's right, go brother. Go ahead and read. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Go ahead. But ye therefore merciful, but be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. And if you got these traits in you, you are merciful, just like your Father is merciful, and you know what you are, not you the children of the heights. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Go ahead. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. He Press. said, give, and it shall be given unto you. You will always have something to give. He said, give, and it shall be given to you. Go ahead. Good measure. Go ahead. Press down. Press down. And Go shaking ahead. together. Go ahead. And running over shall men give into your bosom. They may go give in your bosom because you always give. You always got something to give. And you give in the hoop. Love in your enemies. Right. Go ahead and read. For with the same measure that ye met with all shall it be measured to you again. Let's go to the Matthews, the fifth chapter. Let's zoom in on the Messiah. Let's look at uh, Matthews writing this thing down. Matthews 5. And let's pick it up at verse 43. We know we're supposed to love the ones that love us. But what about that enemy? What about the one you know don't like me? <laughs> 
Do I have to love that brother? No, well, let's see what the Bible says. Let's look at the Messiah. Matthew 5, and let's pick it up at verse 43. Let's look at the Messiah. Go ahead and read. Ye have heard that it has been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. You know, somebody even told you that. Love your neighbor. But man, you got to hate your enemy, man. You know that's your enemy. He ain't got your good will in, in, in mind. So you need to hate your enemy. Well, let's see what the Lord going to say. Go ahead. But I say unto you, love your enemy. Oh, that's a big order right there. He said, love your enemy. And you know it's your enemy. And I got to put on the love clothes. <laughs> he said, love your enemy. Go ahead. Bless them that curse you. Oh, that's a big order for you. Yes, you got to bless the brother who cursing you. Go ahead. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Go ahead. That you may be the children of your father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good. And send it rain on the just and on the unjust. Go ahead. For if you love them which love you, what reward have you? If you go only love the ones who love you, he say, what kind of reward do you think you're going to get? Go ahead. Do not even the publicans the same. They the sinners love the ones that love them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. And if you salute your brethren only. Now I'm only going to salute the brothers in the word. Mm -hmm. And them the only ones I'm love. Go ahead and read. What do you more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect. Even as your father which is in heaven is perfect. Let's go to Proverbs the twenty fifth chapter. Let's go to Proverbs the we we healing in on your enemy here. We need to heal in. Well, how do I suppose to treat that guy who I know he is my enemy? Mm. How do I suppose to treat him? That's what we human in on. Oh. Let's pick it up in uh, Proverbs twenty five and we're gonna pick it up in verse twenty one. We know we're supposed to love our neighbors ourselves, but what about that enemy? How do I suppose to treat my enemy? Verse, uh, Proverbs 25 to 21. Go ahead and read. If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. He said, if your enemy be hungry, boy, that's a big order for you, <laughs> servants of God. Woo! He said, if your enemy be hungry, he said, give him bread to eat. Go ahead and read. And if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. And if your enemy is thirsty, he say, give him water to drink. This is why you do all that that the Lord told you to do to your enemy. This is why you do it. Go ahead and read. But thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head. That's why you do all that good stuff to your enemy. If he wasn't to still be your enemy, all you doing is pouring coals of fire <laughs> on his head. <laughs> And the Lord shall reward thee. And the Lord going to do what? He shall reward thee. And you know this your enemy. But what do I have to do if he hungry? I got to give him bread to eat. If he thirsty, I got to give my enemy something to drink. And so do it. And I'm going to salute you. You curse me. I'm blessing you. You use it, despitefully using me. I'm praying for you. You know what I'm doing? I'm pouring coals of fire. Right on the top of your head. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. Let's go into Romans 12. Let's make sure we understand what you're doing when you do that. <laughs> Romans 12. And we're going to pick it up in verse 17. Romans 12. Uh, and pick it up in verse 17. Because you ain't supposed to recompense evil to evil to no man. And I don't care who it is. Uh, Romans 12 and 17. Go ahead and read. We compense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Go ahead. If it be possible as much as lie than you, live peaceably with all men. He said if it be possible. Woo! He said as much that lie than you. All your spirit that lie in you. He said live peaceably with who will. How many men? All men. Even your enemy. Wow. Go ahead and read. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Go ahead. Therefore thine enemy hunger, 
feed them. Uh oh, he's telling you again. If your enemy hungry, he says, feed, feed them. Go ahead. If he thirst, give him drink. Hey, that this is, I don't care if you read it out the old or if you read it out the new. Right. <laughs> telling you the same, same thing. thing. How you deal with your enemy. Mm. Go ahead and read. For in so doing, read verse 20 again. Go ahead. Therefore, thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. That's why the Lord told you to do all them things for your enemy. All you doing is pouring coals of fire on his head. Go ahead and read. Be not overcome of evil. He's telling you now, I, I, I tell you what I don't want you to do. Don't be overcome with evil. Go ahead and read. But overcome evil with mm. good. But overcome that evil with what? Good. Mm. Evil with good, bro. Pretty Let's good. keep going. Let's go into Exodus 23. We're going to deal with our enemy for a second. We know we're supposed to love my brothers and sisters as myself. Mm. Sometimes I need to find out how I'm supposed to be living <laughs> with that enemy of mine. Woo! That's right, brother. Exodus 23, and we're going to pick it up in verse 1. We need to find out how I'm supposed to walk with all men. Exodus 23, and we're going to pick it up in verse 1. Go ahead and read. Thou shalt not raise a false report. Don't raise a false report on your brother or your sister. Go ahead. That's how you live with them. Go ahead. Put not thine hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. He said, don't put your hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Don't do that to your brother or your sister. You're supposed to love him like you love yourself. And you supposed to be walking in peace with how many men? Oh, oh man. Hey, this is how you walk then. Go ahead and read. Thou should not follow a multitude to do evil. There ain't no sense of running to do evil uh, with a multitude to do evil. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Neither should thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. You want to twist judgment. You know the brother ain't dead and the other sister ain't dead. But you running with the multitude to twist. That's what rests, man. Mm -hmm. You twist the judgment. Go ahead. You don't do that. The Lord is telling you how to walk with your brothers and your enemies. Yes, Go is. ahead. This is how you walk. Go ahead and read. Neither shall thou countenance a poor man in his cause. Go ahead. If thou meet thine enemy's ox or his ass going astray. Now you know the man is your enemy. <laughs> And now his ox is his last going astray. What you going to do? Say, oh, man, let's get that. I ain't like the dude anyway, man. <laughs> That's what we were saying. <laughs> Verse 4 again. Go ahead and read. If thou, if thou meet thine enemy's ox or his ass going astray, thou shalt surely bring it back to him again. Oh, you got the great. Hey, yeah, yeah. Enemy don't know his ox and his ass is going astray, but you know it. Then what do you supposed to do, even though you know it's your enemy? Mm. And y'all may be in competition. Mm. 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 What you do, you go and get his ox on his ass and you bring it to him again. This is your enemy. Go ahead and read. This is how you deal with your enemy. Go ahead and read. If thou see the ass of him that hated thee lying under his burden. Then you know the dude hates you, but his ass is a, his lying under his burden. Go ahead. And would it forbear to help him? Thou should surely help with him. Oh, man, Lord, you put the pressure on me to deal with my enemy, man. I can't be around this dude too long. <laughs> I can't be around this sister too long. Woo. Go ahead and read. Thou should not rest the judgment of thy poor in his cause. They say, don't twist judgment of a poor man in his cause and he ain't did nothing. Go ahead. Keep thee far from a false matter. Hmm. And the innocent and righteous slay thou not. For I will not justify the wicked. Hey, you going to be a wicked witness against mm. your brother and your sister. And mm. they ain't did nothing. Go ahead and read. And thou shalt take no gift for the gift blinded the wise. Mm. And perverted the words of the righteous. Yeah, but he said, if you mm. see your enemy as ox or his ass going astray. Mm. Hey, and you should bring it to him again. And you got to help him with his burden if something happens. So, hey, that's how you have to deal with your enemy there. Let's go to Leviticus, uh, let's go to Leviticus, the 19th chapter. Let's go to Leviticus 19. 
That's how you have to deal with your enemy, people. It's a hard pill, but you can swallow it. <laughs> okay. I know it's a big, tough one, but we can do that. Leviticus 19, and we're going to pick it up at verse 11. Let's see how we got to deal with our enemy. This is what we focusing on. How do I deal with that person that don't like me? Mm. Verse 11. Leviticus 19 and 11. Let's see how we deal with that enemy that don't like me. Go ahead. Ye shall not steal. Go ahead. Neither deal falsely. Neither lie one to another. This is how you have to <clears throat> deal with brothers in the truth, even with your enemy. Go ahead and read. And ye shall not swear by my name falsely. Neither shall thou profane the name of thy God. I am the Lord. Go ahead. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor. Don't cheat your neighbor. That's what defraud means. You're going to cheat him out his wages. Mm -hmm. I done hired you to do a job, but when you finish the job, I only got half of the money. Mm -hmm. I just may hold the money because I ain't really got it all. Mm -hmm. And you've been you begging for that money because you've been depending on that money. That's why you did at work. Don't defraud you, brother. Don't rob him. Go ahead. Verse that, 13 again. Go ahead. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, neither rob him. The wages of him that is hired shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. Hey, because he depending on that money. That's why he worked for you. Go ahead and read. Thou shalt not curse the deaf, uh -huh. nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but shall fear thy God. I am the Lord. You can't do that. Go ahead and read. He shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. He telling you you can't do no unrighteousness in judgment. I don't care if it's your brother or your enemy. You can't do no unrighteousness in judgment. Go ahead. Thou should not respect the person of the poor. Go ahead. Nor honor the person of the mighty. But in righteousness shall thou judge thy neighbor. You got to judge. You got to be straight. Straight across the board. That's right. That's I can't right, show no respect to you. No respect the person. Go ahead and read. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people. You've got to always be running. you got diarrhea. <laughs> but it got to be on the left. We got dives. Hey, some people like that. They like to keep, don't be going up and down as a talebearer. Go ahead. Neither shall thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. Go ahead. Thou shalt not hate that brother in thine heart. I can't even hate my brother in my mindset. Mm. Woo. Go ahead and read. It's, it's a big pill right here. <laughs> yes, it is. Go ahead and read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke that neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. And if he did something to you, come and let him know and rebuke him. And don't suffer sin on him. Go ahead. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. You can't even bear grudge against the children of your people, mm -hmm. not even against your enemy. Go mm -hmm. ahead. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You got to do what? And who man. is your neighbor then? Man. Uh, this man. We ain't talking about next door. <laughs> we talking about man, period. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Go ahead. I am the Lord. He say, I am the Lord. Lord. That's how you love your neighbor as yourself. And who is your neighbor? Man is your neighbor. That's how you love your neighbor. Either the instructions is right in the book, how you love your enemy and how you love your neighbor. Let's go to uh, 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. 1 Thessalonians 5. Because the Lord don't want you to render evil to evil to no man. If you already do good to him, you quitting coals of fire on their head. What else you want to do? <coughs> you want to give them too, huh? I'm going to give him, man. Give him a piece of my mind. Yeah. Hey, some people got that real good. I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo. 1 Thessalonians 5, and let's pick it up at verse 15. We're going to read verse 15, you know, because we ain't supposed to render evil to evil to no man, not even my enemy, Lord. I can't get this enemy that I know don't like me, Lord. He's been against me since I moved in the neighborhood. 
I'm straight with everybody else, Lord, but this one person I just can't get along with, Lord. You may I gotta Yes, sir. I can't even do evil for evil. Verse 15, this is why. Go ahead. See that none render evil for evil to any man. That guy can't go evil to evil to any man, huh? Not even my enemy, huh, Lord? <laughs> go ahead and read. But ever follow that which is good. Then you may, I got to follow that which is good. I can't get that dude back. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. Both among yourselves and to all men. Not only among myself, the brotherhood of sisterhood. He say, and among all men, I got to do this. I can't do the evil for evil. Mm -hmm. Not only inside the church, I can't do it. But I can't do it outside the church either. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. Let's let's go to First Peter three. Let's go to First Peter three. We're just uh, looking at some things. That's all. <laughs> What's up? Make it That's all. We just go look at a couple of things. You know. Go ahead and preach it. First mm -hmm. Peter three, and we gonna pick it up in verse eight. And sometimes we gotta have a look at passion, boy. Sure. Hey, the Lord say, with the merciful, he going to show mercy. Mm -hmm. so, hey, I, hey, I hope that we all fall in that category. Mm -hmm. Let's go, uh, what did I say, 1 Peter 3, and let's pick it up at verse 8. 1 Peter 3 and 8, go ahead and read. Finally, be ye all of one man, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren, be pitiful. Be courteous. Hey, we got to love everybody like they my brother. Hey, I got to be piteous. I got to be courteous. I ain't saying let your God down to your enemy. I ain't saying that. Mm -hmm. But I still got to love them. Mm -hmm. Why do I love them? According to how the Bible tell me to love them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. Not rendering evil for evil. Or railing for railing. But we just read that, didn't we? Yes, we did. You can't be doing evil for evil and railing for railing to no man. Go ahead and read. But contrarywise, blessing. Oh, because they that's what the Lord told you? The one that hates you, bless them. The one that persecutes you, he said, that is despi uh, 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 despitefully using you, he said, pray for them. Mm -hmm. That's a big yeah. order, people. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read that again. <laughs> Not rendering evil for evil, or railing for railing, but contrarywise, blessing. Knowing that ye are there unto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. Because you're supposed to be called the children of God, because them attributes is in you. Dealing with the poor, dealing with your enemy. If them things are already in you, so you go inherit a what? A blessing, just keep it up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. For he that would love life in secret days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no God. Go ahead. Let him eschew evil and do good. He said let him eschew evil and let him do what? Good. Let him do good. Go ahead. And let him seek peace. And ensue it. He say, and let him seek peace. And it don't matter what man it is. He said, let him seek peace and do what? And sue it. And sue peace. Go ahead. This is why. What verse you at? Verse 12. Go ahead. This is why. Go ahead. Seek peace. This is why. Go ahead. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. Because the eyes of the Lord is over the righteous. And you know what he'll do? He'll send that angel down there and leave. He said, because the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. Go ahead. And his ears are open unto their prayers. But, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So that's why you want the eyes of the Lord to be over the righteous. And his ears open to your prayer. This is you got to seek peace and you got to pursue it. Let's keep going. We're just going to keep going. Let's go into Psalms. Let's go into Psalms. Let's go into Psalms 34. And sometimes this mouth of mine get me in trouble. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Shut up, man. Don't we all. Man. You just stay in trouble because of your lip. Yeah. So, 
Psalms 34, we're going to pick it up at verse 11. Psalms 34, let's pick it up at verse 11. Because if you want long days and long life, sometimes you got to watch this mouth. Don't watch all that tail bound. Verse 11, go ahead and read. Come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Go ahead. What man is he that desire life and loveth many days? He is right here. I'm one of them. Go <laughs> ahead and read. That he may see good. Keep that tongue from evil. He said, keep that tongue from evil. Go ahead. And thy lips from speaking God. Go ahead. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. He said, depart from evil and do good. We already showed you the good you got to do to your neighbor and your enemy. And then he said, seek peace and do what? And pursue, pursue it. peace. Go ahead. This is why. Go ahead. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. Didn't we just read that? Yes, we did. That's why you seek peace and ensue it. Because the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. Go ahead. And his ears are open to their cry. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's go to Proverbs 24. And you know, sometimes we be saying, I don't care what to do reading, man. You know, he's <laughs> still my enemy and what it is. Once I get the chance, man, I'm getting to do it, man. Man, I don't care, man. The dude should have did that to me, man. He messed up when he did that one. Proverbs 24. But if you believe the Bible, you got to do this one. Proverbs 24. And we're going to pick it up at verse 28. Proverbs 24 and 28. Go ahead and read. Be not a witness against thy neighbor without a call. He said, no, you can't even be a witness. The Lord told you don't do no false report against your neighbor. Mm -hmm. He's telling you don't be a witness against your neighbor without a cause. Your neighbor ain't even did nothing to you, but you just don't like it. Mm. Go ahead and read. And deceive not with thy lips. Go ahead. Say not I would do so to him as he has done to me. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that dude, man. <laughs> I'm going to do to him just like he done done to me, man. I'm getting that dude, man. He shouldn't have did it. I can forgive, but I just can't forgive, forgive that one. I'm going to do to him as he has done to me. Go ahead. I will render to the man according to his work. That's good, bro. I just had to read that. <laughs> I'm going to do to him what he done did to me. Woo. You know how we be. Yeah, yeah. Know, brother. That's why this is tearing me up. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's, let, let's go to uh, uh, Romans 13. Because you ain't got to supposed to have no ill towards you, bro. I hear you, brother. You ain't got a, 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 a Romans 13. You ain't got supposed to have no ill feeling against your brother. Work in progress. Aren't we? Yes, sir. Right. Aren't we a work in progress? Yes, sir. Yeah. Romans 13, and we're going to pick it up in verse 8. Romans 13 and verse 8. And now I've got to show you how you start loving your brother. We done read some of the things that how you love your enemy. And how you love your brother. Let's just keep saying some of the things that the Lord require for you to love thy neighbor as thyself. And who is your neighbor? Man. Mm. Verse 8, go ahead and read. Oh, no man anything but to love one another. Uh oh, he said, don't owe no man anything but what I all got to do to you. Love, we got to love. love one another. Go ahead and read. For he that loveth another has fulfilled the law. Oh, yeah. that's how I love you. Mm -hmm. I got to keep the law to you then. Let's see what law he talked about I need to keep that I need to show you I love you. Go ahead. Well, yeah. Let me see what I need to do. Go ahead and read. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. Uh oh, I can't be trying to commit no adultery with your wife. You go, you go somewhere, and here I am, I'm trying to talk to your wife. He said, thou should not commit adultery. Thou should not kill. Uh-oh, if I love you, brother, and even if I love you and you my enemy, I can't commit adultery with your wife, and I can't kill you. Go ahead. 
Thou shalt not steal. If I love you, my brother, my sister, I can't steal from you. Go ahead and read. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Uh oh, I can't come up with that false report against you. <laughs> it's how you love your brother and you love your enemy. The Lord been showing you all the time. Go ahead and read. Thou shalt not covet. Uh oh, I can't even desire. Go ahead and read. And if there be, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Uh-oh, that's how I love my neighbor as I love myself, huh? Cage. That's how I love my neighbor just like I love myself. I ain't going to be trying to commit adultery with his wife. I ain't going to try to kill him. I ain't going to try to steal from him. I ain't going to bear no false witness. But I'm going to be straight up. I ain't no bear false witness. And I ain't going to cover him. Yeah, he said, if you, you love your neighbor as you love yourself, he said, you wouldn't want nobody to do that to you. Right. So you shouldn't do it to your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Wait a minute. He told you uh -huh. to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Then he turned around and said, love worketh okay. no ill mm -hmm. to his neighbor. Boy, that's a big, that's a big shoulder right there. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor, who is my neighbor, man. Go ahead and read. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. If mm -hmm. I keep the law towards my neighbor, I'm showing you I love you. If I keep the law towards my enemy, that's how I show my enemy that I love. See, that's brother. Let's keep going. Let's go in. Uh, let's go in. Uh, 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 Saint John thirteen. Let's go into Saint John thirteen. St. John 13, it's all spelled out. It's <laughs> all how you know how to love your neighbor and how you love your enemy. Wow. Boy, that dude, I know he didn't never like me, man. <laughs> I ain't never did nothing to him. I don't even know why the dude don't even like me, man. <laughs> Sister be sorry, I ain't never did nothing to her. I don't even know why. Hey, it's a lot of that going around, but you still got to turn around and keep the law. That's right, right, brother. Uh, 13, St. John 13, and let's pick it up at verse 34. 13 and 34. Show you how you love your neighbor. Go ahead and read. A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another. He said, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. It ain't no really no new commandment. That you love one another. We got been showing you that all the time. Go ahead. As I have loved you, that you also love one another. And how do I love you? I keep the law towards you. That's right. Go ahead and read. But this shall all men know that ye are by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. And how is all men gonna know if you are my disciples? It got to be something they need to see. Right. Go ahead and read. If you have love one to another. Hey, you got to have love even towards your enemy, people. You got to love him just like you love yourself. Boy, that's a big pill right mm, there, boy. Mm. That's, a, mm. shoot, that's a heavy weight don't you have to swallow <laughs> that. Let's go to 2 Peter. Let's go to 2 John. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's go to 2 John, the book right before Revelation, 2 John 1. Second John one. Second John one. It's a great thing to understand how to love your neighbor. I ain't saying how you love your enemy. I ain't saying let your enemy use you every time he see you. He know he got a sup popper that he gonna get you. I ain't saying just be dummy. But you know, you got to love your enemy. Mm -hmm. And you got to know how to love your enemy. You know he your enemy. I ain't saying go and hang out with him. <laughs> but you know he your enemy. But you, it's a certain way you have to treat him. Boy, that's a, you got, he despisefully using you and you got to pray for him. <laughs> he cursing you. You got to bless him. <laughs> the big shoulders yes, right sir. there. 
Second John 1, let's pick it up in verse 5. Let's pick it up in verse 5. Second John 1 and 5, that's how, how we love our neighbor. Go ahead and read. And now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee. Because it ain't no new commandment over there in the John. It's still John. Go ahead and read. But that which we had from the beginning, that we loved one another. We had that from the beginning. That we love one another. Go ahead. And this is love. And this is how you this love your love. brothers and sisters. He said, this is love. Go ahead. That we walk after his commandment. Go ahead. This is the commandment. That as ye have heard from the beginning, ye you, you should walk in it. And I do you, I show you, I love you. I got to keep them commandments. How do I show my enemy I love them? I got to keep them commandments towards them. Right, right. That's how I show my even my enemy that I love him. Hey, you got to keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. Even though your enemy, certain things may be falling apart, and you just got to still go over there and help. Well, them's some big shoulders to <laughs> carry right there. Let's go to 1 John 5. Let's just bag up the 1 John 5. Let's see how we love God. Let's see how we love God. We see how you love your enemy. And let's see how we love God since we already in John. John 5, and pick it up in verse 2. Go ahead and read. By this we know that we love the, the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. You love the children of God because we all the children of God. He just got some that's behaving kind of bad right now. <laughs> right. Right. You know, you have children, and you may have three, four children, and one of them just bad as hell. <laughs> you know, the Lord got children, he just got some a little bad right now. Go ahead and read. But this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. And this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are what? Not, not grievous. They ain't even grievous. Let's <laughs> keep going. It ain't hard. You just got to want to do it. That's so, it. That's you it. just got to want to do it. Let's go to Luke 17. Let's go to Luke 17. Let's go to Luke 17. And we're going to pick it up at verse uh, 3. <clears throat> 17 and 3. And sometimes your brother keep trespassing against you, and I got to study forgiveness, dude, man. Man, I think you didn't know what you're doing all of a sudden. <laughs> but I still got to keep forgiving you, though. Know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, so, that's a hard that's thing. Hard <laughs> even, in your, even in the deep thought in your own mind, you know the man is using you. Mm. But you got to put on that humble coat. And walk in the word of God, even though you know he using you. Yes. 17 and 3, go ahead and read. Take heed to yourself. He said, I tell you what I want you to do, take heed to yourself. Go ahead. If that brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. Yeah. Oh man, if your brother did, did something against you, against the word of God, rebuke him. Let him know what he did. <clears throat> and if he repent, you know what you can pay him to do? Forgive him. Yeah. You got to forgive him. You got to mm -hmm. forgive him. Suppose he come back again, though. No. You got to forgive him. Uh-oh, keep reading. <laughs> he may get just come back. Keep <laughs> reading. Go ahead. And if he trespass against these seven times in a day. Oh, mm. man, my man, keep doing it, man. <laughs> seven times in a day. Go ahead. And seven times in a day, turn again to these saying, I repent. Thou shalt forgive us. Oh, man. The Lord said, how many, how often should my brother sin against me until I, I forgive him? To seven times? Mm -hmm. The Lord said, until 70 times seven. Mm -hmm. As often as your brother repent, that's you are compelled to forgive him. That's it. Boy, that's so, a big, them's woo, big shoulders, boy, right? Yeah. Boy, there's some big shoulders right there. There's some big shoulders <laughs> to carry. Let's go to Luke 23 since we're here. Woo, boy. 
Let's go to Luke 23 since we're here. Going all up my head. <laughs> Luke 23 since we're here, and we're going to pick it up at verse 20. This is the crucifixion of Jesus here. Let's see something he said. And he been crucified. They crucified him because he had to take on the sins of man. But, hey, what did he do? <laughs> what did he do to be crucified? Even though we know he had to take on the sins of the people. Because it had to be a perfect sacrifice. But what actually did he do? Let's pick it up in verse uh, 20, I said. Right? Go ahead and read. Pilate, therefore, willing to release Jesus, spake again to them. But they cried, saying, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate tried to let him go, and the people hollering, Crucify him! Crucify him! Go ahead! And he said unto them the third time, Why? What evil has he done? Hey, your Pilate did say to him the third time, But what evil have he done? Go ahead and read. I have found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chastise him and let him go. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to chastise him and I'm going to let him go. Go ahead and read. And they were instant with loud voices, requiring that he might be crucified. They holler with a loud voice, hollering, crucify him, crucify him. Go ahead and read. And the voices of them and of the chief priests prevailed. Oh, man, the voices of them and the chief priests prevailed, right? Let's jump down to verse 32. Let's see what Jesus did. Go ahead. And there were also two other male factors led with him to be put to death. Go ahead. And when they would come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him. And the male factors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. And they hollered, crucify him. Pilate said, well, what, what have they done? He ain't done that. They hollered, crucify him, crucify him. Go ahead and read. Let's see what Jesus going to say. After all that, he listening to what these people saying. Let's see how merciful Jesus is. Let's see if your mercy like this. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, mm -hmm. for they know not what they do. Because you had to have that kind of fortitude. Mm -hmm. Then they hollering, crucify him, crucify him. And they know what they're doing. And Jesus said, yes, Father, mm. forgive them, for they know not what they do. Mm. Go ahead and read. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. That's good. But could you hear that that kind of nerve? They hollering, crucify, crucify. And you say, Father, forgive them. Mm. They know not what they do. Let's keep going. Mm. Let's go and... Uh, First, uh, let's go to First uh, Samuel 24. Let's go to First Samuel 24. How much time are we looking at this, sir? Got Twelve. Twelve minutes. First Samuel 24. We gonna get through this. First Samuel 24, and we gonna pick it up at verse one. First Samuel 24 and one. This is Saul chasing David down. <laughs> And David get the ups on him. Hey, it's time you can hit him in the rib, in the fifth rib, David. And we, <laughs> we can end this. All this running we doing from cave to cave, we can end this, David. Right that goes the enemy right there. Yes, hit him in the fifth rib and we can go on about our business. <laughs> Let's see what David going to do. And Saul chasing them down. First Samuel 24 and 1. Go ahead and read. And it came to pass when Saul was returned from following the Philistines, that it was told him, saying, Behold, David is in the wilderness of Engadi. Then Saul took 3,000 chosen men out of all Israel and went to seek David and his men upon the rocks of the wild goat. Now they're going to seek David. And Saul is chasing David down because he's scared of David now. So he's chasing them down. He's been trying to kill several times. He had the javelin in his hand and he slung it right at David. Mm -hmm. hey, he said tried several times to hit David. But the Lord was with him. Go ahead and read. He's chasing David down. Go ahead. And he came to the sheep coats by the way, where it was a cave. And Saul went in to cover his feet. Uh-oh, that Saul, he then came to the sheep coat by the way, 
And if it was a cave there, Saul went in there to rest his feet. He gonna take a nod. No, uh oh. Toilet. <laughs> <laughs> well, rest his feet. Go ahead. <laughs> and David and his men remained in the sides of the cave. Oh, Saul didn't know that them, uh, David and his man was also in the side of the cave. Go ahead. And the men of David said unto him, Behold, the day of which the Lord said unto thee, to thee, Behold, I will deliver thine enemy into thine hand. Oh, the Lord, they say, David, this is the day, David, the Lord that said unto you now, David. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put your enemy into your hand. I'm going to deliver him into your hand. This is it, David. Go ahead and read. <laughs> if thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good unto mm. thee. Then David arose and cut off the skirt of Saul's robe privately. Oh, he, get burned. he must have been asleep. David went up there in the cave and just cut off a piece of his robe. Now, he chasing David down. He did. Hey, as far as Saul concerned, David is his enemy. But look at David. Could you do your enemy like that? I'm going to just cut a piece of his skirt off him. Go ahead and bring him. And it came to pass afterward that David's heart smote him. Even by David cutting a piece of the king's garments off him, David's mind really bothered him for doing that. Go ahead. Because he had cut off Saul's skirt. And he said unto his men, the Lord forbid that I should do this thing unto my master. And you see what David said? The Lord forbid that I should do this unto what? My unto my master. I can't even do this to my master. Even though my master is chasing me down, I can't even do this. Mm -hmm. Go That's ahead and read. Blood. The Lord's anointed to stretch forth my hand against him, seeing he is the anointed of the Lord. He said, I can't even do it, y'all. This is the Lord's anointing. Because you had to have them kind of muscle mm -hmm. that your enemy is chasing you down. <laughs> he go in the cave and he fall asleep. And there he go. Me and my men got him surrounded. Mm -hmm. And I don't even lay a glove on him. Mm -hmm. We could hit him. He'd never know he'd been hit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He'd wake up and be the resurrection. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> And what did he say? I ain't going to put my hand on the Lord's anointing. Mm -mm. And this is David's enemy because you had it done that. This is love for your enemy. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read it. So David stayed his service with these words. Hey, David kept his servants back with what? With these words. Go ahead. And suffered them not to rise against Saul. Mm -hmm. But Saul rose up out of the cave and went on his way. Ain't that some... David, it, even though this your enemy, you get the biggest break. Mm. You crucify me, hollering, crucify, crucify. I say, Father, forgive them. Mm -hmm. They know not what they do. And they my enemy. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. David also arose afterward and went out of the cave and cried after Saul, saying, My Lord, the king. And when Saul looked behind him, David stooped with his face to the earth and bowed mm -hmm. himself. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And David said to Saul, <coughs> Wherefore he was thou men's words, saying, Behold, David seeketh thy hurt. Why are you listening to them people saying, Saul, David, seeking you hurt, man, and I've been your servant all the time. Mm -hmm. Why are you listening to them, fuck? Go ahead. Behold, this day thine eyes have seen how that the Lord had delivered thee to David. Unto mine hand in the cave. He say, I tell you what, if I actually wanted your hurt, today the Lord put you in my hands, and I didn't even do you no hurt. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. And some bade me to kill thee. Some of my men told me to hit you, man. <laughs> but I stayed them now. Go ahead and read. But mine, I spared thee. Uh-oh. And I said, I will not put forth my, my hand against my Lord. For he is the Lord's anointed. Go ahead and read. Moreover, my father, see, yeah, see the skirt of thy robe in my hand. And don't you see I cut off a piece of your robe? We could have hit you, man. <laughs> and you, my enemy, chasing me down. But you see what I'm doing to my enemy, people? These is big shoulders here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. For that I cut off the skirt of thy robe and killed thee not. I cut off the skirt of your robe. I didn't even hit you in the fifth rib. 
<laughs> Go ahead and read. Know thou and see that there is neither evil nor transgression in mine hand, and I have not sinned against thee, yet thou hunters my soul mm. to take it. That's good. Let's go one other place. Let's go to uh, uh, let's go to Hebrews thirteen, and we're gonna read one verse. Hebrews thirteen, and let's pick it up at verse one. We need to remember this. Hebrews 13 and verse 1. We need to remember this. Go ahead and read. Let brotherly love continue. You know what we need to do? Hmm. We need to let that brotherly love continue, not only among ourselves, but also among our enemies. Hopefully you understood the lesson, love thy neighbor as thyself, who is my neighbor, man, period. Yes, sir. Thank you for your time. Praise the Lord, brother. Jesus, Jesus. I want to say thank you to Brother Burger and the Vineyard for another lesson. And uh, brothers and sisters, before we close, I just want to uh, address a couple of uh, the other uh, programs that's under the umbrella of the Israel of God. I just want to uh, make mention of Come On In My Room on Mondays at 7 p.m. They do their thing. And then on Thursdays, you got the bomb of Gilead that comes on at 7.30. And then on Wednesdays, you got uh, question and answer that starts at 7 p.m. And then on Fridays, uh, you have uh, prayer night uh, service, which starts at 7 p.m. as well. And then a big show, of course, the Sabbath on Saturday at 12 p.m. And this week, I mentioned it earlier, but the title of the lesson is The Adoption. So this time, brothers and sisters, I just want to take a moment on behalf of the brothers working in the vineyard to say thank you for spending your time with us when you didn't have to. And also on behalf of the brothers working in the vineyard, I just want to thank the Lord in Jesus' name, but thank the Father in Jesus' name for another opportunity for allowing us to spread his gospel. And also, brothers and sisters, if you like what you heard, then like, post, and share. And those of you who are on YouTube, you can uh, subscribe as well. Uh, and also, did I leave anything out? Like, right? okay. yeah. <laughs> so, well, I did say to like, share, and post. And uh, also, again, uh, on YouTube, you can check us out anytime after Thursday to catch the lesson like this lesson today. Uh, so also, brothers and sisters, before I close up, I just want to say, do the best that you can in keeping God's Ten Commandments. That's the only way you're going to get salvation. Amen. And, Lord. and also, we look forward to seeing you this time next Thursday with the brothers working in the vineyard. And so with that being said, I just want to say thank you again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.